listen to this is like i'm too drunk for this. someone in the chat says gavin got kicked out of a bar with bill schultz there's video on yesterday's morning really if you want to see that yeah instead. send a link please send a link gavin got kicked out of a bar with billy schultz on yesterday's morning we're going to watch bill schultz on uh this show campaign media and uh, let's see, we're subscribed, we're, we're live, watch, listen, and uh, see the stuff. So here it is, Gavin and Bill Schultz had a little incidente on Morning with Bill Schultz. It's loading, loading, loading. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Do I need to sign in first, maybe? Their website is always a mess. So let's sign in here uh, today. Of course, I pay for this membership. It's costing me a, a boatload of uh, what I call cash. Permanently suspended. Okay, let's try this link again. Here today. Count pop me. Oh, we're in. We are in, everybody. So where do I go from here? Julie. That's all I know so far. All right, we'll start the episode. This should be funny. Gavin and Bill Schultz kicked out of a bar for being degenerates. And uh, we'll see what happens here today. Campan Media. I don't mind a good pause, says someone. Okay. Yeah. You ever clap so hard that it's hurting you? Ow! Fuck! There he is, Bill Schultz. The 80s are really big right now. You can hear there's no low end. Kumia's like... How much does base cost? And they're like, uh, fractions of a dime. Well, uh, then cut it from our feed. We can't afford it. There's no base in compound media shows. It's only treble. It would be like if I did this. Watch this. Hi, everybody. Uh, wait, that doesn't really sound any different. Hi, everybody. It doesn't really sound any different there. I don't know. I mean, but imagine a show with no <laughs> low end. I mean, it would be nuts. All right, here it is. Compound Media cutting the base just to save fractions of pennies. Here. Gavin Skypes in. Five minutes in, he says. Five minutes in. Let's just see the intro, though. Ooh, I'm getting mad. Uh-oh. Test one, two, three. Hi. iPad. Okay, guys, start the show. I got a show to do here. Okay. Uh, keep going. Some professionals. Oh, that's not you. That's her. Test one, two, three. Am I still on the air? The bass frequencies bump their VBR to CD quality. Yeah. Come on, guys. Is that Karen Feehan? Karen Feehan, the traitorous woman. Uh, I'm after her, that uh, Karen Feehan with the freckles. Like the girl that would laugh it off, though. Oh, mm -hmm. Bill you know, Schultz, everybody. Look at it. Looking She's great. for college. I could see you doing a Flashdance remake, but you would have to really lean. Look at this shot. The shot is so bizarre. Why is he cropped? It's way too cropped. It's a cropped <laughs> sensor, folks. Bill Schultz is so <laughs> cropped. What kind of a shot is this where Bill's head is off the screen? Have you ever seen a news program like this? <laughs> It's nuts. On your stun woman and or man. Wow. What? Again, you are fragile. And a lot of what happens in these various flash dance type movies involve things like that where a little sick. Joe go boom on the ground and break something that you didn't even know you had bone wise. I mean, yeah, there was that one time I took a dance class and I was wearing knee pads and I still got a huge bruise on my knee. <laughs> really? Yep. That's like, how does I that, have a bruise on my knee, too. How does that happen? That sounds about right. There's something very, very anemically wrong with you. So this is Morning with Bill Schultz. This show gets 230 views on average. Sometimes it gets 60 views. I'd say it deserves at least 600. I would say this show is pretty good. It's the best show on Compound, I will say that. Yes, It is 100%. the best. What's going on? Where's my king, for God's sakes? As usual, I go back Test. to my theory that you're a product of. I feel like our audio is out. You probably Test. just. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're back. Yo, yeah, yeah. Iran will take over under my realm. 
Sorry about that. Actually, that just slipped out. Sorry, guys. This is extra. <laughs> Bow to Iran, my homeland. You're either with us or against us. This is an Iranian show. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm really sorry. I'm having a great time, guys. I'm just trying to goof around with you guys. I'm just trying to give you guys a, a quick, cheap laugh. I'm really sorry about that. The show isn't sponsored by Iran. Don't worry about any of that. I'm really sorry. Guys, I'm sorry. Let's go back to Bill Schultz here. Of incest. <laughs> it's very possible. But Until I do that 23 and me, we'll never we'll know. We'll never know, but it's better that you don't give the government your stuff. You know, a fun fact about Flashdance. Oh, I hope it's fun. It is. Uh, it's not even for debate that it's fun. Uh, her stunt double okay. in Flash. So they sit around and they talk about nonsense for about 40 minutes. Let's jump to five minutes in and apparently Gavin. They say he Skypes in to talk about this bar I'm looking story. at a solid 7.6. Apparently, Gavin Skypes in at around five minutes. Let's see what happens here. Under full treat. Let's see what happens here. Just what I wanted. I'm going to add one more. On. Great. Now one we can more. discuss to you guys today. Here we go. Potential demise. No, I'm just kidding. Um, he just shot himself in the head. My goal exactly. Oh, damn it. Um, Keep it on her. I don't, want, I don't want to be any part of this. Okay, I sent... That was it. That's just the title. Now I'm just going to tell you what happened. <laughs> Is that the review? Here he comes. It was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, I sent Garrett two photos... Again, I, I wasn't lying when I said I, I, okay, I don't Okay, they said keep... five minutes in here. We're at 5.33. Is Gavin coming? This doesn't sound like a Gavin yeah, leading. Skip ahead like another couple minutes. I don't know. Another couple minutes. Till you see Hang back a bottle. Is this the wrong the episode? Oh, there he is. Gavinsky. Let's see what happens. Three, but like, you know, like, oh, I'm no. So sure. It depends on how you stated it. If it's like, I'm sure I'll see no, no, you no. again. Oh, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. And then you'd be like, why? And I'd be like, well... I'm a world-renowned actress. The world just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Do you know? Not I'm going to assume that this person is thinking this. We have Gavin McGinnis on line fun. McGinnis. And I'm Again, I called this out the other day. Do we have a rag? Gavin McGinnis. The man goes out of his way to pronounce it how it's written. McKinnis. McKinnis. And all of these losers keep saying McGinnis, McGinnis. It's a totally different name. Gavin hates that, by the way. He's brought it up a million times. You see people like Anna Karsperian from the Young uh, Turkins. They go, Gavin McGinnis. And it's like, you're his main enemy. Shouldn't you know how to pronounce his name? That, that would be like if I told him Tony uh, Heinchcloth. It, it, come on, guys. McKinnis. Some people cannot get that straight. Bill Schultz is a good friend of him. He hangs out with him for 20 years. They hang out, they drink, they break their wrists together. <laughs> and Gavin goes, hi, I'm Gavin McKinnis. Nice to meet you. And he goes, ah, sure. Gavin McGinnis. Are you doing it to insult the man or can you not hear? Very strange. I mean, he, you? yeah, he's, he was listening to all of God, that. Oh, no, I'm so And sorry. I assume that What's he is happening? thinking, how the fuck did these guys replace me? I'm that so is all. Or he's wow, a huge Yeah, that's uh, interesting. The Gavin McKinnis show. Gavin was, is most one of the one of the most famous bad guys in today's culture. Used to have this slot here on Campaign Media. Gavin went away to do a White House level gig that. <laughs> Never really. Oh, she's drinking straight up milk? What the fuck? <laughs> you got to trust your instincts. 311. Uh, Bill Schultz's 232 viewership show replaced the Gavin McKinnis show. You know, the show that brought me most of my fame. Here we go. John Mayer fan, and I'm completely wrong. Gavin McKinnis, can you hear me? Gavin, I'm so sorry. I am not. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I can, buddy. Sean Mayer sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're better than that. Give us actual reasons why his body is not a wonderland. Tell me. Because he ripped off People Get Ready from Curtis Mayfield. Is that true? Wait, what song of his? Gavin, I really hate this set. Gavin went to Ikea with his $10 million budget. And he goes, hey, do you have any $26 build-it-yourself shelving units? 
There's nothing. I had a shelving unit like this when I was two. And they're in saying my he's bedroom. rich now. He has over 10K oh, yeah. subscribers I know. at $10 and it, a month. It, it makes total sense. I mean, people know how rich I am. You very you need very little subscribers to be rich. Do the math. So Gavin has 10,000 subscribers at nine ninety nine a month. How much is that? Add it up. He's rich again. Subscribers equal riches. People go, Mike's not rich. You don't you only need to have 500 subscribers to be rich. It's easy. So me and him are very rich. <laughs> and he's got this bookcase here that he put together with peg little. If your furniture includes a wooden peg that you hammer into one side and stick in the other side with glue and it's a wooden peg with ridges, you're your furniture should not be able to peel off, okay? Like, the edge of your furniture, sh you shouldn't be able to peel it away and see cork board <laughs> inside, okay? You shouldn't have white, shiny, grainy laminate that you could peel off the edges. What is this set? You're rich. Does your wife not let you use the money? I know, you that means he's making like $100,000 a month. Millions of dollars and you spend 26 bucks at Ikea, which you shouldn't even be supporting that Swede and that's ASAP Rocky. And you're buying this little, I hate tchotchke setups. I will not put a book. There's no shelves in this house. There is no bookcase in this house. I asked for a bookcase. Yeah, he said I no. said, Jules, you could bury your books under the barn. He makes me put my books yeah. on the windowsill. No book bookcases are shit unless they're built in, made out of real wood. Look at this. I could break this apart. We're going, Gah! and the whole thing will break. It's shit. Don't have white laminated bookcases. People get ready. Ooh. There's a train a coming. Don't oh. need no ticket. You just. Yeah, this guy is c always copying me, but doing worse. It really <laughs> is true. Remember when he first saw me, he poached me and he goes, you're an inspiration. Remember when he went on his show and he goes, I saw Mike David fill in for me and it reminded me that I should be meaner. He was so cool. Remember this? And then he accidentally started to everyone they should kill. When I first filled in for Gavin McInnes, he couldn't stop messaging. I, this is true. I know it sounds fake. You would think it would be the other way around. Sounds made up. I filled in for him. And after I filled in for him when he was on vacation, he couldn't stop messaging me going, you just inspired me so much to be like meaner. Like, how do you do it? Like, you're so mean and like, you just seem here, you're, you're having so much fun with it. I feel like so bad if I'm that mean. This is really what he said to me. And I'm showing this to Jules and showing it to Sven at the time. I'm in New York at a hotel going over the messages that Gavin sent me to Jules and Sven. And I'm going, what is with this guy? Like, <laughs> is he really this much of a f Like, why is he? He's like, you're so mean. It's like, should I be meaner? And he was asking me this. I'm not even kidding. I remember. This guy, I'm telling you, this guy is like a theater kid who is putting on a show and he is scared, nervous of everything that's happening and everything is just show. I'm not kidding. Somebody says, I remember when Gavin said that on his show. There is tape of this. Gavin was inspired by no dick Mike David. Wait, why did I say that? <laughs> no dick. This guy is a faker, phony baloney. If you're inspired by me, you're this tall. You're. I'm inspired by you. Well, I mean, but is him. This is the creator of Vice. It's all a facade. Let's watch. Um, I'm aware of that song, but what's John Mayer's uh, rip off of that? Waiting on the world to change. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, but one could argue that those chord progressions are super popular in lots of songs across this different... This is actually a geek who has been trying to emulate a cool guy his whole life. I'm not kidding. I thought when I first saw him, I go, finally, a freedom fighter like me. Let's get involved. Sven will tell you this. When I first discovered Gavin, I go, wow, look at this guy. He doesn't seem to care. He's kind of just like me. 
And then when I met him, he's so nervous and scared. This is all an act. It's really sick. The stuff he said to me, I went like this. I go, Gavin, come on. You can't be serious here. You know, you've got books out. You've got all these people. Did you guys hug? We did. Yeah. Did you ever touch hands? Oh, yeah. It was sick. His hands, by the way, are this big. They're like uh, two little tiny little paper clips. And I go, what is this? This isn't even a hand. He goes, oh, sorry. Those are my paper clips. <laughs> He's, it's very creepy. Like genres of music. So you could just say that he's doing the right thing, the marketable thing really, by creating another <laughs> song that the people will love. Okay, so then you'll be happy to provide me other examples of people using Look that chord. Look at this chord. geek. I'll be happy to provide me with that. He's a geek. He's a writer. Remember this. Gavin got his start by, oh, I want to write articles. Let me write it. Imagine if I wanted to write articles, you'd kill me. Cool people don't write. They shit on books. They <laughs> onto a page. <laughs> they don't write. Gavin is a writer. This is a geek trying to showboat as a me. I'm telling you, people don't believe it. This is what's happening. I mean, really, it's all in lots of pop music. You know, okay, it's so if it's in lots, then it, just name one. That would be <laughs> if he wasn't a geek, um, if yeah. he wasn't a geek, he wouldn't be desperate to be friends with hundreds of young boys exactly. across America. What so guy would proof. be friends with all these guys? I mean, look at his bookshelf. Look at this geeky shit. He's friends with Ryan Katsu Yamagashi, a guy that to a woman. Mike doesn't write. He is right. Exactly. Yes. Mike doesn't write. He is right. There you go. You know, like Sue the Gavin. Beatles and like a, every other pop star. <laughs> I'm more monkeys guy, but I'm sure you could come. You got up me, Gavin. Beatles. You got me. This is like when they call Donald Trump racist and you go, what, what did he say? And they go, everything. <laughs> Only you can bring us into Trump. I right or I will come over there and kill you. Wait, I didn't hear the beginning thing. What was he threatening? Wait, who are you killing? I'm killing Garrett for spelling my fucking name oh. wrong. Oh. See, this is all <laughs> geek nonsense. If I performed this way, I'd get an F. Okay? I'd get a D minus if I performed like this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Garrett. <laughs> Listen to me. He's a two-eyed, four-eyed freak. Look at him. He's wearing glasses. I told him to. <laughs> I'm so fucking glad you saw that horrible, horrible Chiron. Uh, well, listen, I wanted to have you on because uh, there's some missing pieces to a really, really blurry night that I was hoping you could fill. But I'm thinking you probably won't listen to be this. able oh, to. So this you... is why we're listening. They got kicked out of a bar. Yes. Ha bizarre. Ha bizarre. They got kicked out of a bar. So they got kicked out of a bar. This guy's got two kids at home and he's going to bars. Were they Imagine making a that. burger video? I no. won't even go to a bar. I have a dog. <laughs> I won't even leave him home to go to a bar. He's going to a bar. He's got a kid. Papa, may I please learn some things? No, I'm going to a bar. The Proud Boys. Yes. The man, the Proud Nine. I must defend them. Sorry, son. You get a pancake of a goblin. Like, what the hell, man? You've got kids. Once you have two kids, your life should stop. I said this about Jay Rose. If you have two kids, all your focus should go into the kids. This is why I don't have kids yet. If I'm ever going to have a kid, it's because I'm done. I'm cooked. I'm ready to, to eat. And the kids now are the ones I'm focusing on. It is a real... Uh, mishap to have some kids and go, but I'm going to focus on my proud boys. Wife, you rate the kids. That is not a manly thing to do, to leave the kids at home while you play with Ryan Ketsu Yamagashi. Well, go, you're forgetting about the law of the nuclear family. The oh, the nuclear family. The, the mom the raises the, the kids. does the hard work like going But to I bars. thought women suck, and so your kids are going to grow up to suck. They're raised by a woman and her ideas. Shouldn't you be putting your ideas into the child? Raise the son. How about that for your alt-right ideal? Raise your own kids. You know, all these people on the alt-right, they have two kids. They leave them with the nanny. Then they go out and they play podcaster for eight years. Raise your own kids. How about that? They won't.
They don't want to be around the kids. You know, Gavin goes up to his kid and he goes, bink, to his dick. <laughs> and then he goes, I got to go do my podcast. If I had a kid, I wouldn't do podcasts. I'd be ordering the kid pad thai. I'd be feeding him. I'd be doing stuff for the boy. You yeah. see the video that I sent you with regards yes. to our night Remind out in the town? To tell you I don't this... know how the audience... Sorry. What? What Remind me to tell you this Glebe news before we Oh, end the Ben show, Glebe is well in the news? Okay. First. Hey, everybody. Red Bar. We've been on for three hours and 42 minutes here. You're getting extended stuff. Let's hear this. They got kicked out of a bar. Him, him and uh, barely, barely paid Bill got kicked <laughs> out of a bar. They had no money. Yo is on this. Uh, a little backstory. Uh, Gavin was t uh, interviewing um, Ann Coulter. And what was Miss Belfonte's first name? Gina. Gina Belafonte, both lovely, at a little place called Hudson Malone. Gavin was dressed up like uh, an old-timey bartender, and they had a very civil and delightful discussion. I once saw Gavin suck his son's nipples, bite the nipple off, and spit it back in the kid's face and go, Wraith yourself. Wraith yourself. You need to know that you can wraith yourself. Your mom is Indian, she's Navajo. I need to go hang out with Ryan Kath. He beat the girl because she is so crazy. Bathe yourself. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I go, Gavin, that's like crazy. Is that just a song or a stance? And he goes, it's both. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. Yeah. Can I tell people this? He goes, don't print my DMs. <laughs> and then Gavin and I decided to just keep the night going. <laughs> And uh, we were a little lazy, so we just went across the street. And I don't know if you want to exactly explain what happened, and then we go to the video, which is like 20 seconds, or let the video run, and we'll see if any of it makes sense. We went to a bar called Strange Love, oh, which yes. has kind of Strange a punky time. theme. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a punk bar. <laughs> and uh, punk. ironically, despite my punk heritage, punk rockers oh, don't yeah. like me. No. Oh, okay. Because of my conservative beliefs, I was told I may not, I was denied service. Oh, yes. denied service. And we, and the, <laughs> I don't know if the, I, you, you also had one, a, a sterling comeback from someone that was like just half whiskey at the time. I don't know if we have the, uh, we, I don't know if you can hear it in the video. We'll go to the video right here. We decided to w go back and I'm, you know, I'm bad with the whole f photos and videos on my phone. This is good proof of that. I tried to get, I tried to video this horrible, horrible persecution of one Gavin McGinnis with the bartender. McKinnis. I don't know if we have it's it. It's going to be I the shakiest it. Blair Witch uh, ever. Yeah. Oh right. my God, look at video. You can already kind of tell by the way you're moving that we've already been indulging. So this is them at the bar. Gavin McKinnis is wearing a uh, party down uh, waiter's outfit. This is like a guy who serves you hors d'oeuvres at a fancy Hollywood party. He's walking around with a white shirt and a bow tie on. Going, hey, you guys want is some? Is he wearing an apron though? Because look it at those really hair looks on his weird. neck and yeah, his waist. Yeah, really looks like he's wearing. Uh, what do you call those guys who serve hors d'oeuvres? Waiter. A waiter. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I might try and set up a situation where we look. It looks like you're really shaking. The answers are still the fuck the same. Oh, that's why you're like, I can't help it. What the fuck? You can have a fun time. Why not? Listen, I've got to tell you why not. So this little guy is going. You got to get out of my bar, sir. You're too mean. We've seen you on the internet. You're too mean. Look at this guy. He's got long hair. And he's going... Is this that bar that we went to with Tristan and those it guys? It could be. It looks it familiar. Looks like it. Wow, in Brooklyn? Doesn't it look like that? That one punk rock bar that Gavin loves. And didn't we go there because Gavin said to go there? No, that was a different place. The hot we chicken. We went on a Gavin tour. Yeah. Video this horrible, horrible persecution of one yeah, guy with happens. the bartender. I don't know if we, if we have it's it. It's going to be I the shakiest it. Blair Witch Fun. ever. Yeah. Hi. You can already kind of tell by the way you're moving. That, that might be the place. 
Now, whereas I might try and set up a situation where we see Look, it looks like you're really shaking this time, but the answer is still the fuck the same, eh? Oh, that's like you're like, I can't have a fun You can have a fun You can have a fun fight. I really have a fun fight. I don't know why not. Listen, I don't gotta tell you why not. But you gotta step off. Your son is at home naked. He needs clothes. Go home. If I saw my dad doing anything but working to get me the cash for college, I'd be pissed. All my dad did when I was a kid is go to work, come home, feed me, tell me stories, and go to bed. There was no video footage of him at a bar. Okay? Don't go to a bar if you have kids. It's over. You can go you once had your per 20s. year as like yes. a friend's reunion. This is sick. If I saw, I really would be heartbroken if I saw footage of my dad. Meanwhile, I'm at home all day and my dad is constantly out at bars with these creeps. I would really be heartbroken. I really would. I would go, does he not care? Why is he at these bars? This is not what a dad does. Mr. Uh, Christian. I told you the second time. Well, I was never going to go to school. Is it good? You get all the good shit. Did you take credit? Oh, did he just do the white power sign? Yeah. Oh my god, I never even noticed that. Was that the white power sign? Bill, that's something I would say is a joke, and you're really trying to pull this over. Damn, and why this or why that? You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go, he says. Imagine somebody at a bar goes, please leave my establishment, and you go, why do I have to leave? Just leave. They don't want you there. Why would you want to be there? As soon as I know that the bar doesn't want me there, I go, ho, 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 thank you so much. I'll go to the bar next door. Even if they haven't fully asked us to leave yet. Yeah, I'd be sickened. If a guy goes, oh, you wearing a hat in here? Michael I'd go, nope. Goodbye. We're thank you. <laughs> Hope you like pranks because you're getting calls. Oh, God. That's what I that's what I passed out. So Gavin is getting owned by a gay lib is what you're <laughs> seeing here. Gavin is trying to beg to stay at a liberal bar that doesn't want him. Please, let me just have one beer. Uh, bye. That's what the guy's saying. Please, please, sir. Let me stay at the bar. You know the Proud Boys? It was a joke. You truly, you went vertical. Yeah, well, I was on the floor at that point. Horizontal. Gavin, I don't know if you could hear it, but the one thing I definitely remembered is after he went through his uh, dumb little diatribe, your response was, well, you're ugly. <laughs> that, that was your zinger. <laughs> well, I stole that from Winston Churchill, who said, uh, he was told, you're drunk. And he said, well, I'll be sober in the morning, ma'am, but you're ugly. It's a good one. It's a good one. Well, thanks to you, I am never allowed back there again as well. And uh, as much as I don't like that guy, it was a cheap bar. And I'm not made of money. I'm not uh, made of what money. Do you, do, you, do you recall anything specifically from that back oh, and forth since my was audio was terrible? Yeah, he just he he played up his Queen's accent to sound tough, and he said, uh, he said, You're I don't. Shaking, we have the footage. Didn't you see everyone was shaking? It's because Gavin was scared. You were shaking from a Queen. The guy looked like Jesse P.S. on uh, what do they call that? The opposite of testosterone, endorphins. What do they call it when a guy wants to be womanly? Endoscopy. What do they call that? Uh, estrogen. Estrogen. It looked like Jesse P.S. with a little more estrogen, and you were like, please, can I please just have one beer? And the guy's like, fuck you, get out of here. Oh, but please, I'm wearing a batai. I don't have to get into why I'm not serving you, but you can't get served here. You need to step off. And then he said, uh, I said, can I get a bud, please? And he goes, you can get a bud in any bar along the street except for here. Are you done filming now? You happy now? So Queens by way of the departure is what we're talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Uh, we, it was our it was our bad for going into Southie without knowing anyone. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was the second time we went there, and I, there's I've seen that guy before. There's no way I'll ever be allowed back there. I'm guilty by association. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, has that happened happening to you a lot? Because I have to say, the first time we no. went in, it was like that. I mean, Gavin's a pretty recognizable guy, but he's not the only person with a beard. Yeah. Uh, and the guy knew who he was right away. Well, he must be like a closeted fan. 
<laughs> yeah, I wish. I just want to make, like, Erica Thomas lies and says she got told to go back where she came from. Those are just words. I was denied beer. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> That's like being denied food if you're fat. I need beer to survive. Yeah. <laughs> I think my crying video would have a lot more impact than hers. I've truly suffered. Well, the thing that I never really got. This there was a lot guy, this poor guy, man. You I can know. see in his eyes, he just wanted to be liked. This is all he wanted. I know. He wanted to be liked. He wanted to fit in. Look at him. He's crying. When I see him, all I see is a guy going, please, I just want to be friends. What the fuck? <laughs> That's all I see. I don't see a tough guy who's ready to take on PC. I see a guy who's really stuck here and just won't ever listen. Why do you want to be around these guys, man? These boys. All right, there he was, Gavin McInnes. Should we do one more segment? Here Did today? you want to hear this Glebe update? Yes, the Glebe update. There he is. Sorry, Gavin. And you know, he never comes after me. He sends me emails all the time. Mike, please, will you please hang out with me? I say no. Here it is. Gino is my broke. Broke. 